Hello everybody, welcome back to the Organic Greek Challenge. As you can see, I am in the Land Rover. Um, I've got potatoes, I switched over my vegetable patch to potatoes, so we've been producing some potatoes, so we've got uh, 6,000 litre potatoes here. I've also got the wood cutting or wood selling uh, device. And on here, um, I have a stump grinder because I've chopped down some trees. Um, with time has moved on a little bit, not much. Um, I've been pretty busy off camera though. Um, it's been a. Uh, if you've been watching these back to back, then that's fine. But um, if you've been watching these week to week, then it's been a couple of weeks since my last. Ooh, that's really heavy. Um, it, since my last episode. Um, so, what I have done is I've chopped down a bunch of trees here because we are going to put in our new potato. Uh, potato. Um, factory um, producing machine thing um, so I've chopped all these trees into lump chump chunks uh, and I've got the stump stump grinder on that skid steer uh, so tally skid, tally skid steer uh, to get rid of the stumps as well and then that should give us enough space in here to put our new production building and um, also as you saw from the intro um, we did some uh, baling contracts I also had a couple of harvesting contracts extra onto the top of the one we did uh, the couple of fields we did last episode there was another one that came up and I did that um, and we took all the straw off there so if I go on to um, here I don't know whether it'll show us will it? Uh, no it doesn't show us completely and um, so I've got a far more straw in uh, storage than that um, but uh, I've put that all into our f uh, fermenting silo but not press the go button so it's just in storage just now but we do have 33,000 litres of barley in storage which is quite handy um, so I think what we'll do first we'll get rid of uh, all this wood over here uh, and see how we get on just like that um, and yeah this will give us some more income um, I did another couple of baling contracts as I said um, what else have I done oh yes I sold a ton of uh, silage as well so the the smaller of the two bunker silos that I've got up at the BGA we sold uh, the silage out of that um, and that kicked in pretty good um, so what did we get for that let me just have a look um, Oh, I've not put it down actually. Um, yeah, it gave us a fair chunk of money. It was about 60,000 60, or something, I think. Um, and then we sold 9,000 litres of milk, um, or 9,000 pounds of milk. Uh, and yeah, I've also bought some equipment as well. So I bought, um, there was a sugar beet header that came up in the sales, 72% off. So it seemed a bargain. So I've bought that. Um, so that's kind of going to determine the harvester I buy in the end, I think, but that's fine. Any more for any more? I think that's all of it. Uh, I think that's it. That's giving us a fair chunk more money. That's good. I think, I think that's it. Um, so I'll put this back over here. And yeah, we'll get the stumps done. But yeah, like I said, um, yeah, my ambition really is to um, yeah have enough money to buy that harvester by the time harvest time comes, and I think I will because obviously I've got all the sugar to uh, sell as well. Um, so that's that's okay, and then obviously I've got a lot of uh, honey still producing. Uh, I did put a load of more wool into uh, our wool production as well um, and I put a load more milk into our um, into our dairy as well so we have got I think it is two or three pallets of clothes ready made as well so that would be a good thing to sell at some point but I'm just going to hold off on that for now um, the other thing I need to do today is, um, before we rest overnight actually, is to um, get some stuff organised for our pumps and hoses. That's the other th big thing I want to buy, it's the big thing I need to purchase as per the challenge is to 
get uh, either pumps and hoses or the self-propelled uh, slurry uh, tankers um, that are in game. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get the the rest of our um, the rest of our pumps and hoses set up. So I'm going to purchase that today, and we'll get our grass field up by the pig farm um, completely done. I think. I think that'll. Uh, I've already laid the hoses out, so it should do the job. Um, and then, yeah, the other thing is, I want to. Uh, oh, I forgot to say, yeah, the the fields that we've been having issues with. That's all the. What I've managed to do is I've managed to get everything, all the fields up to scratch now, so they're all as good as they can be. Um, but it took a bit of work to get it all sorted, but we got there in the end. Um, and the other, th the other thing is that I am going to purchase back uh, one of the fields we sold uh, because what I'm thinking is, here yeah, I'll plow it and then see if I can get. Um, why is this not? There we go. This is taking a while, isn't it? Right. I think what I'll do is I'll try and get all these stuff out. It's a bit bittery, this one. I'll get all these uh, tree stumps sorted, and uh, yeah, once we're done, we'll just cut back in and. Yeah, we'll get this production building on the go. Okay, there we go. So I managed to get it all landscaped in. There's a, a little bit of uh, bumps and lumps here and there, but it's it's pretty flat. I've managed to get it pretty good. Um, so a spawn point for all the pallets and stuff is just here, and the putting in is just here. It's basically an adaptation of one of the great great uh, processing plants. Uh, but the best of the potato. So if I go, where is it here? Is it there? There we go. So and if I go into here, so I can produce all sorts of stuff. Um, got the various vegetable fats there that we could produce. Uh, but premium potatoes um, just require potato and water, and you get a byproduct of potato starch with it. Um, we need vegetable oils for that. But I could produce uh, potato gratin. Um, I could certainly do that. Um, we could potentially produce that as well, some mashed potato. And um, we could do that. Um, that requires quite a bit of ingredients. Um, and then what else have we got? Uh, yeah, I could probably produce uh, two or three of these things if I got some vegetable oil as well. If I bought some, um, I could buy some and then uh, buy some sunflower oil and then I could produce vegetable fat as well. Um, but I think we could start off certainly with premium potatoes um, and some gratin and some mashed potato. We can certainly get those things going. And prices wise, uh, if we go right down, uh, da -da -da -da, see you somewhere. Yeah, so premium potatoes on here, 806 we're sitting at just now. Um, so, yeah, 806. And then starch is good money as well. And then when we move into potato gratin, even better. And then, yeah, mashed potatoes, pretty good as well. And if we compare that to the price of the premium potatoes bagged, we're looking at a fair bit more money, so it kind of makes sense to do this um, and just get this on the go as well. So what I'll do is I'll get these potatoes put in here now. Uh, we'll get some we'll get some water on the go as well in a bit, um, and then yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll start producing with this uh, before our potato harvest starts, and uh, yeah, I'll start getting us a, a decent bit of income. We'll get all that in there, and then what I'll do is I'll run down with a tanker, we'll get some water in there. I'll start topping this up with uh, milk and cheese, 
um, and that's going to yeah, start giving us a bit of cash as well uh, for those other products. So I think what we'll do, uh, I'll return the stump grinder now because we don't need that anymore um, and then yeah we'll head down to, or we'll head down to the stores um, and yeah we'll um, go and get our oh god I can't see a thing we'll get down to the stores and we'll get our pumps and hoses set up um, and all the bits and bobs we need for that so we'll see you down there and uh, yeah we'll go and get what we need right then we have got everything so we have a compressor uh, for cleaning our hoses we have got a water pump we have got um, our sort of front sort of distribution tank which will uh, sort of allow us not to run out of stuff which is good um, we also have our main drag hose and the hookup for it as well and as I mentioned before there is our Roper RR6X45 header for our sugar beet harvest that we purchased before. The other thing I bought was this. So this is bait by ARM team, arm team, um, and is basically a generator. So it produces 450 horsepower, which is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to plug this into our main pump rather than using a tractor. It takes a tractor out of the operation and yeah it should do the job. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it will all work fine. Um, so what I need to do is get all this stuff up to um, the pig farm. Um, I'll put some on the backer here and yeah we'll put the rest on the tractor. We'll leave this here for now because we haven't got our sugar beet harvester but as you can see it cost me a fair bit of money. We're down to 119,000 now which is still not too bad to be fair but um, yeah we'll, uh, we'll get everything sorted. So let's uh, quickly get this on first. May as well do this while you're here and then we'll get the rest of it, rest of it shuttled up. Get that down like that, and just like we did last time, we used this stuff and we released it all. We just feed that. Ooh, feed, oh. Got skinny wheels on this uh, Massey as well now because. Uh, oh, wrong one. Okay, let's get that up in there, and then this can go on the front, and then that takes everything into there, and then there we go. So I think, yeah, hmm. Leave it with me, I'll just do a bit of a juggle with this. We'll get everything up to the farm and we'll see you up there, I think. Right, last little bit of equipment, the old pump. As you can see over here, we do have a baling contract on the go. This is field 29, it's worth about £17,000 uh, without the bales. So, yeah, quite a lucrative contract. Um, so, we'll get that finished off, um, I think. Probably once we get this done and then yeah then we'll rest overnight. But I've got everything set up. Uh, we have now got this is the last missing link. Um, so we'll get this into place. Brought the John Deere up with some more digestate. Um, so we've got all the digestate into our big tank. I'm just gonna dip through this hedge just for ease's sake. And um, yeah, all the hoses laid out all connected. Um, and then yeah this is all ready to go this is all connected up um, and then over here we have our new generator plugged in that is ready to power that um, we'll put this pump next to here to give us uh, a little bit of uh, extra water goes alongside this somewhere. Just reverse up nice and slow. Yeah, okay. Leave that 
there. And then, yeah, I brought the compressor up and I brought. Got too many vehicles around here. Uh, yeah, let's just take this round here out of the way. What a nightmare. Blimey. Right. There we go, and we're away. Okay, a little bit of faffing, but we got there in the end. That is doing it. There we go. So we are now spreading. <laughs> there was a little bit of a faff there trying to get that organised, but it is all working now. Um, I have a feeling this is going to need two applications as well, but we'll see. Um, but I'm thinking if we can get this all done with this lot, that'll be uh, quite good. And hopefully this hose should be plenty long enough, I would imagine. I uh, quite like the update now, if you look in the bottom of the help menu there, it's got the condition of the hoses um, and how many litres we've got left in the tank, which is quite handy. Um, what I'll probably have to do is fill up at some point, but for now we're doing okay. So I think what we'll do, we'll set up a quick time lapse of all this, um, and then, yeah, hopefully We'll get this field completed nice and quick, and uh, yeah, see you at the end.
Okay, there we go. That's that field uh, spread. And as you can see, yeah, our <laughs> nitrogen levels are above per above what they should be, so uh, we're all good. Um, so yeah, we're we're sitting perfect now, which is good. Um, and actually, if we have a look at how much uh, how much slurry or digestate we've just used. Um, yeah, we're pretty much bang on. So yeah. About 30 odd thousand litres to do that field. So let's get that off. Uh, quick back onto that. Uh, detach the umbilical cord. And the water's done the job. Turn that off. And that's done its thing. So all that remains now is to detach these pipes, I guess. Um, so let's uh, detach that and hold that. I think what we'll do, we'll put the first pipe on here. stay on this one. Uh, that one there. And then winding. Let's uh, detach this up here somewhere. There we go. And then, yeah, we'll get down and yeah, we'll get back, rest overnight, and then, yeah, we'll see in the morning, and we'll uh, see what else needs to be done. But, yeah, not a bad bad afternoon's work, that. We've got a fair bit done, which is nice. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's just go for it. Start winding, there we go. All of this round. Perfect. Right, we'll see you shortly and uh, yeah, basically see you in July. Ah, good morning everyone. Welcome back. It is 7.14, we made an early start and yeah, this harvesting contract has come up. So I thought I'd take advantage of it. It's more barley as well, so more for the more for storage if we get a little bit left over, which would be good. Um, I've decided not to s take the straw off this contract. Uh, be a bit more honest with this one. Um, but uh, yeah, our potato, new potato building, is already producing stuff. What I did overnight uh, before I rested, um, I sorted out the potato factory, so I put some water in it. And then I put some cheese in it to make gratin. Um, and then had a look at the prices and actually it's it's better money just to sell the cheese and the milk um, separately um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave it as is we're gonna make premium potatoes we'll get starch as a byproduct um, and yeah we'll sell all those other products separately so the cheese and the milk and things like that um, if I make the cheese into butter, uh, the milk, sorry, into butter, uh, sell the butter as well, then it's yeah, it's definitely worth it, uh, worth more money. So I think we'll just we'll just stick with uh, that option. I think um, I think that'll uh, probably work a bit better. Um, but having said that, yeah, potatoes are already producing. In fact, let's have a quick look. I'll just turn that off a second. Let's nip over there. I don't usually do this. I just usually cut to where I'm going. But um, yeah, let's visit. So as you can see, things have come to a halt because we run out of potatoes. But we have a bag of premium potatoes, 700 litres. We have a bag of gratin, uh, and a, sorry, boxes of gratin, and a box of potato starch. Um, so yeah, three already there, um, and 
pretty happy with that. It's working well. I also put in a water tap here as well, uh, just to allow us to um, fill up for our, fill up our our uh, <coughs> potato processing plant here. So 13,000 litres of water in there. So let's um, nip back to our harvest. The other thing is these two fields are now ready to harvest as well. So I think next episode we'll harvest them, uh, get them done. So let's go back to this one. And we will continue on. Obviously leased all the equipment for this contract, so yeah, take a little bit of a hit on it. But like I said, it's more to get the grain more than anything, so um, yeah, we'll keep going with that. Um, and I think, yeah, I completed the other baling contract as well, so I got, uh, got the money for that. Managed to sell, I uh, get 29k for the the spare bales in that and obviously the 17,000 uh, for the contract as well so um, yeah I think yeah like I said next episode we'll jump into our fields we'll get them harvested uh, be on the same game day um, and yeah we'll get it done um, but what I'll probably do is I'll lease a harvester for that as well we won't I'm not going to cheat, use this one and just put a uh, Lisa header, um, I think that's a bit dishonest. So we'll, we'll borrow something, we'll have a look at uh, what they've got down at the dealership and uh, yeah we'll go from there. Right, I reckon one more round of this field and then we'll go for an empty. But I hope you enjoyed it, if you have done don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel please do. And if you want to share a comment, you're more than welcome to, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Next episode, we shall see. Hopefully we can get in uh, before Christmas, but um, if you're watching these at a future date, um, then yes, we will see you next time. But in the meantime, take care, and we will see you very soon. All the best.